grass-fed cow is given an antibiotic um, is because they're sick. I mean, cows get sick even out on the pasture. So they'd be given a therapeutic antibiotic in that case. Now let's look at corn-fed cows. Corn-fed cow, cows are, uh, corn-fed beef, I'm sorry, is higher in saturated fat and eliminates the omega healthy fat as does vitamin E and lutein. It depletes the beta carotene level of meat as well. Corn-fed beef has more fat and marbling, enhancing the flavor of the meat that we have become accustomed to. Uh, Grass-fed meat has a little bit different taste, but it's delicious as well. It's a lot leaner. And it has to be cooked a little differently, a little slower. Corn-fed beef has reduced amounts of beta carotene in the fatty portion of the beef. Hence, the white fat on the, on the corn-fed beef. I used to think that the white fat on a steak was, was fine and that when I saw fat that looked a little bit yellow, it's actually the opposite. Fat on steak should not be white, it should be, have a yellowish tint to it. That means the beta carotene in the grass is going into the fat. Okay. Also, corn-fed beef produces lots of saturated fat linked to heart disease. So next, the fact that most of us are consuming corn-fed beef is likely causing heart, an increase in heart disease and type 2 diabetes. There is a direct link between these diseases and saturated fats. Imagine that eating grass-fed beef rather than corn-fed beef could save the average American over 16,000 calories. From an ecological standpoint and public health standpoint, according to Pollen, feeding cows corn makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But corn is cheap. Corn, it used to take cows four to five years to grow to uh, harvest. Now we are able to fatten them up in 14 months. Feeding cows corn enables us to do this. However, from an economic perspective, corn makes sense. Corn is very cheap, and corn fattens up cows in record time, so they are faster to slaughter. According to Pollen, in capitalism, time is money. So ultimately, Americans need to know where their food comes from. Do we want our beef to come from a happy cow roaming a pasture and eating grass? Or do we go the unhealthy route and risk our health on unnatural feeding practices? Now that you are aware of how cows are raised and fed and you understand the safety and health differences, I would hope that most of you would choose to eat grass-fed beef. The benefits of grass-fed beef outweigh the added cost. Next time you eat steak or burger, you do not have to wonder if it's safe and healthy to eat because you know where your food is coming from. I wouldn't recommend that you eat beef every day, but when you do, it makes sense to eat grass-fed beef. Remember, real cows eat grass. Okay.